everyone else is thinking. I'm dedicated to it. I can't be stopped. I hope I adequately convey the truism that I'm having the time of my life. In spite of the ugly ass world all around us. Thank you, Real America Voice. Thank you, Parker Sieg and the Sieg family. You people got like a T-Rex scrotum with like uh, steel wool hair. <laughs> thank you, Parker. And thank you, Tony and John and Ryan and Linda Peter. Linda Peterson, my personal assistant for the last 30,000 years. Linda's on a break right now. And God knows when you work for me, you really need a break because I'm like this all day long. I'm having the time of my life. And I always emphasize this, but here it is. October is right around the corner. I've already got 19 deer hanging. I've donated 19 sacred carcasses of healthy, nutritious, delicious, natural, organic venison to friends and neighbors and soup kitchens and homeless shelters and churches and veterans soup kitchens. Can you see the halo? The halo, I can hardly get in the barn. My halo is so overwhelming. But I got to tell you, if you haven't got an archery pulse in your life, you're missing out. When I grab my old bear bowl, by the way, Fred Bear statue in Bailing Grand in Michigan. Thank you, John and Tom and Sharon and, 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 and Peter, is it, no, uh, my, all my friends. Every morning, the world goes away, mm -hmm. and the spirit is maximized. I'm going to shoot that top one. The spirit is maximized. <laughs> Bullseye. Get a damn boner. I'm shooting a Matthews bow, and I'm shooting all different kinds of releases. By the way, there's a, a bonehead, bone collector release that I lost, even though I do have orange on everything. I got George Britton Archery in Tarpon Springs, Dakota Field Archery and Sports in Yankton, South Dakota. George Britton Archery down in Tarpon Springs, three feet underwater, prayers for our friends in Florida. I was going to eat another cookie, but I better not. But anyhow, archery will cleanse your soul. And there's so much going on. Last night, I killed this beautiful, beautiful deer. And I've got some old bear razor. Let's, let's turn this into... The Uncle Ted Conservation Celebration, even though Dave Watson, my co-producer, my editor for Ted Nugent's Spirit of the Wild TV, eight times a week on the Pursuit Channel. If you don't get the Pursuit Channel on Dish Gonzo Intergalactic uh, Radio Free Europe, whatever that technology is, Ted Nugent's Spirit of the Wild TV featuring Shemaine's Queen of the Forest. We have our co-producer and our editor on Dave Watson in the next segment, a Ted Nugent Conservation Celebration Eternity. This is no bear razor head. There's so many different broadheads. Here's a Schwacker broadhead. I killed a big doe with that the other night, and I've already refurbished it. Here's Shemaine's arrow with a steel force. Look at that. It's like a Howard Hill kind of broadhead. And then we got Brian Quaka. Have you ever watched the Pigman TV show? He's got a TV show called Pigman. <laughs> I think I qualify as a Pigman. But Brian, thank you. He's got some brand new arrows out there. I don't know what they're called. The Demon Hunter. Brian, good luck with that. That's really quality. This guy really knows his stuff. But what I do is I resharpen my broadheads, and it's so easy. I have got, I think, my record with a Schwacker broadhead. That's a Schwacker. Levi Morgan and the great Hank Parker. By the way, Hank fell out of his tree stand. Hank, safety harness. My hunting friends, do you know that most injuries and deaths every hunting season don't come from asphyxiation of a gas leak in the cabin or getting shot, the most deaths and injury are from falling out of trees. Barack. God, that minute mint coffee is so good. <laughs> wear a safety harness. I wear one religiously. It's called the safety system. It's a, it's a vest with a latch on it. I got these big eye lags in all my trees. I have like 60 tree stands. And I get up there and I put a carabinga in the, the eye bolt. But I'm, I'm, I'm only up 12 feet. A lot of guys go up 20, 30 feet. Don't do it. Maroc. That coffee is so good. <laughs> 
But anyhow, the Schwacker, I, ref- I get a little, a little rubber O-ring there. And after I go through the critter and disconnect their pump station, I wash my arrow, take a steel brush, get all the guts and blood out of the broadhead. And can you see this? I'll stand up. And then I merely go like this. Is my zipper down? <laughs> it always is because I'll have to pee any minute now. And I take that, a fine mill bastard file. You see that? And I gently stroke each side, turn it over. And I keep doing that. You know, Fred Bear taught me that around a campfire. I was showed how to sharpen my broadheads by Fred Bear. I don't think you would have ever imagined. Well, you probably would have, because they had scissor broadheads back in the 1950s. I just dropped the little O ring. I'm so there it is. So, does it feel like a spirit campfire? You don't get to. Dan Bongino, I love you. We are such a T Rex ball sack master. Jesse Waters, this guy's got a T-Rex ball sack. Glenn Beck, T-Rex ball sack. Keith Mark, who created HunterNation.org. Please go to HunterNation.org. Please go to HunterNation.org. Those of you who know you have a moral, spiritual, intellectual, patriotic obligation to vote for God, family, country, law and order, Constitution, Bill of Rights, Ten Commandments, Golden Rule, Declaration of Independence, work ethic, nothing is free. And when you lie to people and say, you get this free stuff, you're actually taking from hardworking people. No such thing is free. Kamala Harris can't give 25 grand for people to start a new home. They have to earn it. It's not the building that makes you happy. It was the work ethic and the spirit and the sacrifice and the risk and the effort, the sweat and tears, that's what makes you feel good as a homeowner. Not the building, you jerk. She's got no soul. Listen to this crazy woman. I don't even think it's a woman. She can't even tell you what a woman is because she probably ain't one. She's some kind of rodent. Well, that's disrespectful. No, what's disrespectful is lying to people and enslaving them, taking from hardworking people and training and enslaving people with others' earnings. That's cruel. That's evil. Yikes. The guitar player knows it. How could anybody not know this? Do I go on tangents? Life is a series of tangents, so I take my bare razor head. Fred showed me this around the campfire. And, of course, I got to do it against my knee for leverage. But I refurbish all these broadheads. You get that? Get refurbished. Go from side to side. Fine mill bastard file. See, I can say bastard if it references a file, but not a bastard if it references the uh, Biden family. Actually, I just did. All right, so anyhow, back to your Uncle Ted. Spirit of the Wild, conservation celebration tech tip for the day. Well, and then I coat each arrow. Up in Lake City, Michigan, boning archery, I, I lube all my arrows. Got to keep them shafts lubed, you guys. Lube your shaft. I, I lube that. And then when I put in the Luminoc, by the way, Luminoc, you know, God bless. Look at that. Look at that Luminoc. I mean, when I let off my mystical flight of the arrow, and I use a little bit of boning archery arrow glue as I insert the Luminox so it goes in smoothly and square. And then when you touch it off, see, you can turn it off. And then when the, then when the uh, launch happens, boom, it lights up. And I'm telling you, it's like a laser beam across the hinterland, ending up vanishing in the crease to the mighty pump station. <laughs> so there's so many things there's so many different broadheads so many different stuff oh, by the way you know people I, I love you people I am showered with gifts every day and, and, and I appreciate it so much James Sh- Sh- Shirts gave me these plaques with happy <laughs> He gave me, he gave me a zebra bracca. You are a wild man, James. I love you. And people are sending me all this stuff. I got this beautiful holster from some Ace. It's a beautiful uh, Kydex holster from Ace in Carrollton, ten- in Carrollton, Texas. Thank you. I tried it, but I shoot a Glock 20. 
I shoot a 10 millimeter Glock Model 20, and it doesn't fit in that holster. So I don't, I don't even own a Glock 9 millimeter because I don't do much rabbit hunting. Um, so thank you for that, and we're going to track you down. I got this incredible Orvis book of upland hunting by the author Reed Bryant, and it's just it's talking about spirit stimuli in the great outdoors. What a great, great book. I've started reading it, but you know, as I read it, I realize I could have wrote it. <laughs> I, I burnt on all the time. And from a hero, Green Beret, Patrick Russell. Patrick, I wish you would have included a phone number. Beardedbastardoutdoors.com. We're going to put that on the screen, post-production. Beardedbastardoutdoors.com. Look what... Look what Patrick Russell made me. Look at this incredible piece of bladed art. Look at that. Barack. Thank you so much, Patrick Russell. I need to get your phone number so we can talk about knives because I love knives. But you don't need to send me this stuff. So anybody contemplating sending me stuff, don't. Make a donation to the Ted Nugent Camp for Kids, nonprofit charity teaching children about a true north compass setting, being the best that you can be, clean and sober, and end up in the asset column for your family, your country, your community, your fellow man, and the good nature of Mother Earth. Boy, that Nugent's a radical. We have Dave Watson coming on talking about a radical. This guy was a bass player for the, the Oak Ridge Boys. This guy's like a funk brother, blood brother, soul brother, and he co produces Ted Nugent's Spirit of the Wild eight times a week on the Pursuit Channel. See you in a minute. <laughs>